So we've been working at our chicken coop to get it all winterized and winter ready because clearly it's winter. The snow is here, the chickens need to be warm for the whole entire actual time that winter is here. We already did some filming. We put some poly up to make sure we keep this nice and dry. However, battery on my microphone died. So we had to go for a backup. But anyways, we wrapped this whole thing in poly to make sure inside is as dry as possible to keep all the snow out from in there in the winter, keep the chickens happy. Frostbite is not a cool thing for the chickens. So more happy the chickens are, more happy we are, and we can have a little happy farm. So it might look redneck, but it's gonna work. <laughs> it might look redneck. <laughs> but it'll work for sure. There's a couple other things we gotta do though, so we're gonna get at that right now. We do have pretty cold winters here, like minus 40 at times. So we did decide that we were gonna put a little bit of heat, like heat lamps in our coop. It's a bit of a uh, hot topic, <laughs> hot topic heat lamps. <laughs> in the chicken community, whether, whether you should put heat lamps in your coop or not, biggest thing is fire hazard that a lot of people say. And second thing is you don't wanna have your chickens rely on the heater and mm -hmm. not become winter hardy. Yeah, because they are hardy birds and they kind of get winter feathers coming in. Our te temperatures are pretty extreme. It is, and we put two heat lamps in this coop, but the bulbs we put in are only 50 watts, so they don't generate a whole lot of heat. So the chickens will never rely on these these bulbs to heat them through the winter. It's just enough on those really cold temperatures to ensure they're not gonna get frostbite, they can survive. Yeah, and we have it so that we can just put one on at times, and then it, when it's super cold, we'll put both on. Yeah. So I did take precautions. I'll show you guys here. So the chickens are getting ready to roost for the night because the light is starting to go down. But here are our heat lamps that we have. One in either end. They're pointed away from the birds. They're secured with screws. So there's no way that these things could fall. Wired in, screwed in, supported in any way, shape or form that we possibly can. However, you can notice there's no guard on the bulb. So I was going to go in there and put guards on tonight, but I won't be. But don't worry, the bulbs aren't turned on just yet. So I was going to install guards on these to make sure the chickens cannot touch the bulbs. But we're going to leave them alone, let them roost, because I don't want to interrupt their bedtime. So that being said, there's only one thing left for us to do. Yeah, so we're trying to make sure that there's no breezes able to go through the coop. So we're caulking all of the seams? Yeah. Yeah. Nailed it. Seams? Is that what you call them? Yep. So we went through already, you can see these seams in the boards all have been filled to ensure that no breeze goes through. When we hit those really cold temperatures, breeze can go through those boards and effectively take the heat out of there. And I mean, the chickens are generating heat, the small bulbs we have will generate heat and that could just make them freeze, right? Mm -hmm. So we're trying to make sure no breeze gets through. You want, there's two, there's two things you want to consider when breezes. You want to breeze up top for ventilation and you do not want to breeze down below where the chickens are so they get cold. So we have one more spot we have yet to silicone, so we're going to go do that right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, while Ben's doing that or getting that ready, there's two other things that we haven't mentioned yet and you may have noticed. So, one of them being the roost. So in the coop, the roost that we have is just a tree branch for now, which is kind of a natural way for chickens to sit on the roost. But in the winter time, a lot of people say to put a two by four down as their roost so that the chicken's feet are actually flat on there. And then they're able to cover their feet with their body so that they're not, a not getting frostbite on them, right? Um, the other thing that we do is we do a deep litter method. Um, so the bedding that's on the bottom of the coop is like, you know, this width or so, right? And so in the winter time, we're not cleaning that. We're just kind of putting more shavings on top and that's gonna be generating heat in there as it composts. So those are two other things that we haven't mentioned yet that we're doing to keep our chickens warm. How's that going in here? Just finishing up. Awesome. We gonna have some warm birds this winter? We should. We're also gonna have a little pile of extra silicone up here in the top corner. <laughs> Cause I'm wiping it off. Ugh. It's getting dark though. Yeah. 
No more chickens are out and about. No, I would actually like one more thing. I want to put a light out here too this winter potentially, just so like we can come have a light and do work when the chickens are in the coop or anything. I think that's going to be important yeah. too, but that's a good point. It's not necessarily important for them. I mean, they're going to have a lot of light, but as the days are shorter, it sucks for them, gets cold, and that's just kind of the nature of the beast. Yeah. Okay, and one more thing. We never chatted about this. Right. Heated water. <laughs> so this is actually, I, I know we've already talked about two different things that are like, oh, it's controversial in the chicken world. It was the, the flat roost bar, the two by four, and the heat lamps. The heat, yeah. This is also, it's not like a hot debate, but it's basically these suck and you shouldn't use them. Not necessarily they suck and you shouldn't use them, go ahead and use them, but they're only good for certain temperatures. So we're gonna have well below minus 20, minus 30 degrees Celsius. These are apparently only good to like minus 17 degrees Celsius. So we are on the hunt right now for a second hand crock pot, because apparently those are like the best things to use. So you plug a little crock pot in, have it on warm all winter with water in there, and that does not not freeze. So pro tip that there you go. is from a newbie. <laughs> so the door on our coop's about to close. Um, chickens are roosted. So I think that means we should go make some dinner. We should. I think, uh, I think this is gonna be good for them having this winterized like this. Although, like I said, it's not perfect. We're gonna have to shovel snow off this. Otherwise this might collapse in this, this yeah. portion. So we're gonna have to make sure we're on that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Big surprise. Check this. Chicken number two, AKA Tootie. <laughs> Just laid an egg. Yeah. It's really late in the day, so that's unusual, but good girl, Tootie. That's awesome.